Hey everyone, Gaijin Guinea Pig here. Today we're going to check out the State of Play, Sony State of Play for September 13th. It is September 14th as of the recording of this video. I'm a day late, but I was on vacation and I just couldn't get to it. But I did have a few things spoiled for me, in particular Tekken 8. However, I didn't see anything on Tekken 8. I just saw that it was announced and they showed some stuff and I'm really excited about that. I watched the Nintendo Direct, which I'll upload to the channel also the same day. Ooh, rivalry. But that was super, super, super disappointing, except for Zelda. Now, I'm hoping the state of play is a lot better, but enough of the speculating. Let's check it out together, shall we? All right, everyone, I moved mini me up into the upper left because I felt like it got in the way too much in the lower left with the Nintendo Direct. But we'll see. I don't know that there's a science to this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. These graphics are insane. Fight! Hold on. Oh, the flex! You're starting with this? Oh my goodness. What is, what is gameplay? What is not? Is it all gameplay? I mean, we're living in the future now, so... The weather effects. The weather effects. Jin Kazaba wins. Oh my... Oh, that's sick. Come on. That alone was way more interesting than all of Tekken Bloodline on Netflix. It's official. Tekken 8 is coming to the PlayStation 5 console courtesy of our battle-hardened friends that at Bandai Namco Entertainment. Hiya. Now, let's check in on two games in development for PlayStation VR 2. Oh, man. That made my lips dry. Mm. PSVR 2 on my radar. I'm probably going to pick it up. The story I was telling, it was about a certain droid repair tech who had no business getting into this kind of trouble. But there they were, standing against evil wherever it popped up. Alright, let's go. I think there are a few new items on the shelves that might catch your eye. The locals can be a little rough on tourists, but uh, it's nothing you can't handle. The first order on Batu. Surely we can count on you now. Hmm. Oh, hello, my friend. Looks like it could be fun, but you know, with the VR stuff, it's all about how it plays, right? Like most games. How does it play? I'm still buzzing Ready off Tekken 8. I can't believe they started Let with that. All monsters beware. My aim is true. Uh, no. This is a pass already. Hard dice game in VR. Bullseye. Back to the abyss! Next one, dear. Back! You will be destroyed! I summon fire! I'm good. This 
long as the PSVR 2 has Dino support, brings the creativity that's all I and care chaos about. Of a tabletop RPG to PSVR 2. Like, keep making games for it. Sony, this support it. This next game it. is being rebuilt from the ground up and will be available outside of Japan for the first time. Oh? Oh? A lone samurai embarks on a secret quest for revenge and sparks the greatest revolution. I'm already in. My inner weeb is crying out. These graphics, uh huh. The Like a Dragon, formerly known as Yakuza Studio, presents. Yeah, we're taking it to the Edo period. Oh yeah, okay, so much yes. Does it play like Yakuza or does it play like like a dragon though? Because I don't want any more of that RPG stuff. Finally, keep me out of Kamurocho. I'm so tired of looking at that city. Hello, Madam Mason? I understand you have a shop to Hogwarts. sell. Yes, getting I this. I think you will find no my question. terms quite generous. State of play is coming with the heat. You are wise to be wary. Why is your mistress selling the shop? She has had rotten bad luck with the last few tenants. Those who came before you just could not seem to escape the darkness. Will you? Over here taking notes. Trying to keep Watch track of these stand. games. Look at this. Fantastic. <laughs> February 10th. Okay. Haunted Hogs Meat Shop. Okay. I'm making notes, people, in my phone. February 10th. I got a, I got a note that's just games to get. You are within the bounds of the Olympic exclusion zone. If you can hear this message, you are trespassing on government property. Evacuate immediately. Alert, alert. You are within the bounds of the Olympic exclusion zone. If you can hear this message, you are trespassing. <laughs> this is Alan Wake. Island Hill, a lot of fog. I'm sick of keeping my hopes up for Silent Hill, though. They just keep dangling that carrot in front of me.
these years. Call her. Now. Mm, that didn't really show much, right? Started strong and mysterious, but then he started driving around and I was like, uh, oh, oh, alright. Survive a ride list, from hell in Pacific Drive, the debut game from Ironwood Studio. Up next, let's check in on PlayStation Stars, a loyalty program rolling out soon. Hi everyone, I'm Grace Chen. Not long ago, we announced our brand new loyalty program called PlayStation Stars. It's designed to celebrate you, the players. It will be free to join PlayStation Stars. As a member, you can complete various activities to earn points that can be redeemed for rewards. Digital collectibles are a highlight of the program. These are digital representations of things that PlayStation fans love. Today, I'm pleased to give you a sneak peek at some examples of our digital collectibles. Tell me more, Grace. Whether it's a beloved game character or a cherished device from Sony's innovative history, there will always be something new to collect and show off to your friends. I guess. These kind of things never really. And do I have much more good me. news. PlayStation Stars will begin to roll out in some regions in Asia starting in late September. It will launch in the Americas and Europe in the weeks that follow. That's it for now. Hmm. Check PlayStation Blog to learn more about PlayStation Stars. All right, kept it brief, and I appreciate that. Oh, I like her design already. Or Silver Bob. に惚れ。超人口プログラム異常なし。おはようございます。おはようございます。今日はしっかりと稼ぎましょう。栄養採掘ポイント近いです。これはフェアサイズのものです。高熱減退接近データベースにない新種の変だ。アーメン。貯
저기야. 이 내가 씨는 믿을 수 없어요. 그렇죠? 그렇다고 말해줘요. Yeah, he's giving me sort of bayonetta vibes, but the graphics are too much. E. Let me get my list ready. About to type this title. I'm ready. Project Eve. Oh. Stellar Blade. Like Project Eve is a better title, but who gives a crap? It looks fantastic. Korea, coming with the heat. Mm. Oh no, Koi Tecmo. This is another Dynasty Warriors. I wouldn't be surprised if it was, but freaking yawn. Alright, I love the setting, but what is it? Hmm? After three centuries of the Tokugawa's repressive rule, the black ships appeared without warning, and our nation began to tear itself apart. Mokum if you got him. Those who cleave to the past, those who embrace the new, and the Ronin, a warrior free of all masters and bonds. Hmm. Gotta have a glider. I will hey. watch over you all as your blades carve a new future. Alright. This looks pretty good. Your time has come. Rise as one. Mm -hmm. Let me put that on the list because it looked. Sick. Rise of the Rona. Whoa. It's 5 2024. That looked great. Even though Koei Tecmo is really hit or miss, in my opinion. Experience an miss. era of great change and upheaval in Rise of the Ronin, a sprawling That's action RPG from Team Ninja. Okay. Before we wrap up, we've got one more update for you. Okay, this is great so far. This is really, really, really good state of play. God of War. That music alone. This is a day one. You don't even have to show me another second of this. And I've already got it. Oh, controller! Just bought a new one, but that is so sick. Just the wolves. Ooh, the color scheme is clean. That's on my list too. That'll sell out like instantly. Everyone keeps controller. secrets. Sometimes it's the only way to protect the ones we love. I know you. God killer. Uh, we're looking at another game of the year right here, folks. What is it you want from me? Is it a god of war you came to find? You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. What is it you will not tell me? I can't talk about it. But I just need you to trust me. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. Uh oh. You sure about Our that? Our boy's getting big. Pretender, God! 
for the old father! Death can have me when it earns me. What a line. No, of God's work. In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? <laughs> ever prayed to you? This trailer is sick. Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. I'm in. I've been in. Fate only binds you if you let it. Wow. Do what is necessary. The shit is magical. <laughs> Not because it is written. Other developers take note. Raise your game. Look what's being made. And that's the show. God of War Damn. Ragnarok comes to PS5 at PS4 on November 9th. See you next time. Deuces. Wow. Alright. In my opinion, Sony came swinging with the heavy. So let's talk about what we just saw, shall we? Okay, so let's talk about what we just saw in that state of play. Now, I, I don't really want to compare it to the Nintendo Direct. It's sort of apples and oranges. But in as far as presentations go and giving you something to be excited about, the Sony state of play was by far a much better presentation. It just had way more things that I was personally interested in. I mean, I've got a list here on my phone. Hogwarts, I really have high hopes for that game. It looks fantastic. Everything I've seen so far, I'm like, this is gonna be a great game. It's just whether or not they can stick the landing, right? Uh, Tekken 8, duh, no brainer. That's a day one purchase. Like a Dragon, I think it's called Isin or Ishin or something like that. I'm so glad they're, they're changing the setting for that style of game. I was a huge fan of the Yakuza series. I even loved Judgment. It didn't play much of the Like a Dragon RPG style. This looks like it's gonna be like like uh, Yakuza and Lost Judgment, but just Edo period Japan, which, okay, let's go. Sign me up, sick. Stellar Blade, this Korean game that we, we saw Quite a while ago, I think it was just like a tease and when it was just called Project Eve, I think the name's a little generic, but who gives a crap? Like it looks amazing. Those graphics are blowing me away. It's giving me Bayonetta vibes. So like a Sony exclusive Bayonetta? Oh, yes, yes, please. Uh, Rise of the Ronin. I, I, I said it in the video. I'm not a huge fan of Koei Tecmo games. I think they tend to feel kind of jank and cheap and yeah, I'll, I'll skeptically go into that one, but the, the Rise of the Ronin setting, I'm just, I'm a sucker for it. So it's definitely on my radar and I'm, I have high hopes. I'm hopeful. I'm optimistic. And God of War, duh, day one. But the controller, I just spent $75 on the, the blue controller, but I, I'm going to get this because if I don't get it right away, it'll sell out right away and then I'll be filled with regret. And it'll be $200 on eBay. All right. Those are my thoughts on the Sony state of play. I thought it was a home run. Like most of it was great. Most of it was games that I'm probably going to get. What did you guys think of Sony state of play? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching along with me. Uh, give this video a like. Think about subscribing. It really helps my small channel, channel grow. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Slowly but surely. But thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next one.